देन यू हैव टॉप द ऑफ द विदेह मुक्त एंड द जीवन मुक्त आर देयर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फ्रीडम मुक्ति इज फ्रीडम आर देयर डिफरेंट वेराइटीज ऑफ फ्रीडम एंड ए फ्रीडम इज टू बी पुट इन डिफरेंट टाइप्स देन फ्रीडम हैज बीन कंस्ट्रेंट्स to put freedom in a type is to constrain it is it not we are saying this kind of freedom stops here right. after this it is another kind of freedom yeah. then now then is it freedom. then yeah. is it freedom at all no so freedom has to be unqualified either total or not at all hmm? you getting it so videh mukt and jeevan mukt are one the descriptions differ the way of looking differs but they are one jeevan mukt is the one who is free of mind stuff that which we call as life that which we call as the ups and downs of life the various events of life that make up the mind so his mind does not get disturbed by life you get it mm-hmm. events come and go he remains in his place yes that is the jeevan mukt mm-hmm. then there is the videh mukt he is the one who is free of the body that does not mean that he has no body if he has no body then we are not talking about somebody so let's not deal in absurdities when you refer to a videh mukt when even the classical scriptures refer to a videh mukt they are referring to a body so definitely it is not as if the body has been dropped the body is still there the body is still there but all that which comes along with the body is not there if the body is there then with the body comes an attachment to a child mm-hmm. or an attachment to a man or a woman yes or identification with thirst or hunger or insecurity about tomorrow or the need to give oneself a permanent shelter all of these come with the body don't they yes hmm? would you want a house where there were no body no. the videh mukt is the one who is free of all that which comes along with the body and in that sense he is free of the body now whatever comes to you in life comes to you as the body which means that to be free of the body is the same as being free of life so do not qualify these two states jeevan mukt and videh mukt are one and final and total one of these two states is not higher than the other though often it is portrayed so hmm mind body are one so to say that one is free of the mind is the same as saying one is free of the body which is the same as saying that now one lets the mind and the body do their own thing one has no need left to interfere
Next you say, the single attitude that everything sensed is Brahman self alone. Yes, this is a thought. There is no doubt that this is a thought and hence the word attitude is right for it. But you must also know that this is a very special thought. Hmm? I am before. yes, I am Brahm. It's not like one of those ordinary thoughts. So you must be differential enough to not to treat this thought the same way as you treat your other thoughts. I am Brahm is not something that can feed your ego. So you must not use it as fodder for the ego. It can be done. You know, I am the mayor, I am the president. Next, I am Brahma yeah, itself. Yeah. Higher than even the president. It is not meant to fill you up. This thought is rather meant to clear away other thoughts. It is not meant to give you another large identity. It is meant to take away all your residual identities. I am Brahm does not mean that you are big. It rather means you are nothing at all. Alright? So do not just co-opt this aphorism. 